Joining us now to give us a perspective of the challenges that women in Afghanistan currently face is Ms. Anita Bhatia, Deputy Executive Director of UN Women. Ma'am, welcome back to Forum Daily. It's a pleasure to be with you. Now, let's start with this, ma'am. What do we know so far about the women's rights rally in Kabul and how all of that played out? Well, what we know is that a bunch of incredibly brave women, and I do want to give a shout out to them, gathered to protest for their human rights, which are the rights to be represented, to live a life free of fear, to want to seek inclusion in the new government. And they were dispersed through acts of intimidation and violence. That's what we know. And we are very, very upset about this. And we want the Taliban to walk the talk on protecting women's rights. And considering all the progress Afghanistan has made in the past 20 years in terms of women's rights, uh, what kind of challenges do women in Afghanistan face now due to this Taliban takeover? Well, very fundamental challenges. Uh, first of all, a number of women are living in fear of their lives. So we are talking about the right to live a life without fear. We're also looking at a rolling back of all of the gains of the last two decades, which means the right to education, to send girls to school, for women to participate fully in public life, to be in media, in parliament, in business, in education. We're facing a situation where all of these rights may be swept away. And we know the Taliban has promised an inclusive government with more rights for women, including women in government roles. Um, we know that uh, the Taliban announced its cabinet today. So uh, what is your response to uh, this promise that they made previously? Well, there is a very big gap between the talking and the walking. The cabinet that has just been announced does not include any women. And this is something that we are taking issue with. We will issue a public statement which lays out UN Women's position on this. And we are really dismayed and very much regret the lack of an inclusive government as it has uh, been done so far. And we've also learned that the women's ministry, there's a ministry in Afghanistan currently which is in charge of women's affairs, that this ministry will be dismantled. We don't have Full confirmation of this yet, but early reports suggest that the attention to women's rights, which the Taliban had promised, is not actually being followed through. All right, ma'am, just about two minutes left here, but we know UN Women is on the ground in Afghanistan. Would you be able to speak yes. towards how the women in the country are responding to the overall Taliban takeover? Look, women are scared. I mean, fundamentally, this is the issue, that women are in fear of their lives and they are in fear of losing fundamental freedoms that they have gained over the last 20 years. So, you know, we are on the ground and we committed to staying because the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, had said, we will stay and deliver for the people of Afghanistan. And we're committed to doing that. And from the women's rights groups on the ground, I can tell you that what we are hearing is that women are in uh, fear of their lives, but and also, fear losing fundamental freedoms, which is why the world cannot forget about Afghanistan. All right, ma'am, just about a minute left, but what work is a UN Women currently doing on the ground in Afghanistan? Well, we're part of the discussions with the Taliban um, as part of the larger United Nations country team on the ground, because Afghanistan is also facing a humanitarian crisis. Uh, there are millions of people who may not have enough to eat, and there are millions without access to health care. So as part of our discussions with the Taliban to ensure that there's humanitarian access, we also are pushing for a continued focus on women's rights and women's freedoms. All right, ma'am, just about 30 seconds left, but really quickly, how can our Canadian viewers help in this situation? A, don't forget about Afghanistan. The new cycle moves quickly. People will forget this happened, and I urge all your viewers to keep the focus on Afghanistan and Afghani women, contribute by donating to UNHCR, to the World Food Program, and to UN Women.